It is very clear that Fox News and the right-wing propaganda machine has become fixated on Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez because they view her as a threat. Everything she's talking about, the policy ideas that she's proposing, if you just remove her name from it and look at public opinion polls, they're overwhelmingly popular. Medicare for all, Green New Deal, a federal jobs guarantee. So because Fox News views her as a threat, because the right-wing propaganda machine views her as a threat, they're focusing on her more so than perhaps any other lawmaker. And as a result, this is what's happening. As Lee Moran of HuffPost reports, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez blamed right-wing media this week for the death threats she said she receives on a daily basis. The freshman lawmaker told New York Daily News that it's very clear that when right-wing media starts to heat up, that's directly correlated to the amount of violent, targeted threats we get. Ocasio-Cortez said there was clearly a correlation between the intensity of the critical coverage of her on widely watched conservative cable network Fox News and far-right media outlet Breitbart and all those folks and the amount of threats that we get. She feels safest when I'm home in the Bronx, she added, and revealed how Capitol Police had now advised her against sharing her schedule due to the ongoing threat to her security. Fox News hosts Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingram regularly rant about the progressive congresswoman. And she has also talked about on Twitter how she receives really bigoted and misogynistic phone calls and messages on a daily basis. So what's happening here is the right-wing hate machine is trying to target her to bring her down a notch specifically because they view her as a political threat but their viewers extract from that this view that she personally is a threat and this is the result she's being sent death threats on a, on a daily basis and look it's not just fox news if you look at the anti-sjw right-wingers on youtube like, half their videos is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, she did this, and she did that, she farted the wrong way. And all that they're doing is contributing to this narrative that she's a threat, she's bad, she's evil. Low-information right-wingers who listen to them, they believe she's the threat that you're trying to get them to believe she is. And it's working. And really what makes this even more disgusting is that we finally get someone elected who actually genuinely cares about normal Americans, who's fighting for us, fighting to expand healthcare, fighting for the future of the planet. And this is the response. She gets death threats. And it's not just her. Ilhan Omar is a target of the right-wing hate machine. Rashida Tlaib is a target of the right-wing hate machine. It's absolutely disgusting. It's morally reprehensible. And anyone who's contributing to this should be ashamed of themselves because it's not just like they're trying to isolate certain policies from her and disagree with them and propose a counter policy. They're fear mongering. They're saying she's not just a socialist. She's a communist. She wants to steal from you. She wants to turn America into Venezuela. She poses a direct threat to you. Well, if you keep using this rhetoric and repeating it over and over and over and over, then your right-wing viewers are going to feel justified in sending her bigoted messages, in sending her death threats because they'd rather threaten her before she threatens them like you say she does. So it's, it's fucking disgusting. And the right-wing hate machine, all they have is smears and fear-mongering because they don't have any policies that are actually popular. Because if you just look at the policy positions again that she's promoting, they're overwhelmingly popular. So what do they do? They demonize and dehumanize and vilify their political opponents. She's not the first one that is the victim of the right-wing hate machines fear mongering. Um, and she certainly won't be the last. I think, what was it, like a few years ago, back when Glenn Beck was still on Fox News, Francis Fox Piven, which is a phenomenal political scientist, was basically deemed an existential threat to America by someone like Glenn Beck. And she put up with the same thing. And what's ironic is that the people who complain about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and contribute to this atmosphere of hate against her are the same people who will whine like little fucking babies anytime they see someone like Mitch McConnell confronted in a restaurant and say, oh, that's harassment, that's harassment. Okay, well, if you think that's harassment, 
why won't you condemn the hate that you see from your own viewers against Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? It's almost like they want us to unilaterally disarm while they keep peddling hate. And you don't even have a substantive critique. When someone like Kirsten Nilsson is confronted by DSA activists, it's for a policy reason. But for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, we don't know any of the direct threats, but they're death threats. Completely illegitimate. That's never acceptable under any circumstances. So to all the right-wingers who peddle in hate, maybe try something new for a change and actually propose policies and argue based on the substance and stop trying to fear-monger.